Hey guys, it's Franco from my IT and cybersecurity journey. Um, just wanted to give a quick update on what's been happening. So as y'all know, I started my uh, core my term yesterday, February first. Now, in this video, I do want to preface that I finished the C one sixty eight critical thinking and logic class today. Um, I would have been able to finish it yesterday. But the meeting with my program mentor was very late. She had scheduled me for um, 8 p.m. Um, my time, which on her time was like 9 p.m. So, yeah, um, I could have definitely, you know, my quick overview of the course, I could have definitely finished the course yesterday if I hadn't done the program mentoring. But I wanted to come into the day with a clear mind, so I didn't do any of the work yesterday. Um, what I'm showing on my screen, if you're taking the course... This is a, um, these are two acronyms I got from a YouTuber who got them from another YouTuber, but I'll just shout out the YouTuber that I got it from. That is uh, Cameron Evolved, who's also a WGU student. So I remembered that he had uploaded a video um, over the course. So I went ahead and just stole the acronyms off of him and, you know, was had him down on a little, little flashcard. It was, you know, going through the modules and repeating it to myself and, you know, um, it was really easy, really easy class. It's quite literally what the title of the class is, is what you need in this course to succeed is you just need critical thinking and logic. You need to be able to think for yourself. Um, and you need to remember a couple of things, the fallacies, um, evidence. Um, I followed what my program mentor had suggested of the course, which was to do modules, uh, she requested for me to do modules one, two, and three, and then take the pre-assessment. I had so I did that. I did the uh, module one, two, and three. Now here's a little cheat, I guess you could say, or a little hack that they kind of hide from you. Um, under the assessments tab, when you're looking at the course, they have separate webinars that were recorded years ago. I mean, they were recorded years ago. The, the quality of the videos is very old looking by Melvin Sanchez, which I'm guessing was the person who quite literally created the course because the videos are that old. If you go to a set, uh, under announcements, you can click on view the on uh, you can view the webinars from there. The webinars are 10 times quicker than if you were to go under the the modules in um whatever it is that they call their little website that they use. I think it's like Menjed or uh, Gened, something like that. It's way better if you view the announcements, 1.5 speed, ca uh, closed captioning on. So I did that with modules one, two, and three. To be honest, I didn't even take notes over those first three modules because the concepts are pretty self-explanatory. It was just common sense. Um, and then these help remind you of, those are gonna be on the, on the exam for sure. Um, then for the modules, I definitely put some emphasis into modules five, six, and eight because those are most prevalent um, on the exam. But it was pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I mean, it's really, really easy course. Probably the easiest one I'll probably take. Um, it. I had started the course at about 12 p.m. and I know I'm recording this video now 7:54, but I finished the course at about six. And that's because I had scheduled my ex my exam for 5:30, so they give you the results right away. Um, I wasn't exemplary because I just wanted to get it done. I, I didn't go through all the modules into depth, but I did. Um, I was competent, way over. I was al I was almost exemplary. I was exemplary in pre pretty much like three, um, three of the topics. It was only two of them that I was competent in, and then the other one I had done like horrible in because it was the only question uh, on the whole exam that was of that topic. And I got it wrong. I even remember the question. Um, but yeah, really easy course. As long as you remember these acronyms, like I said, put some emphasis into modules uh, five, six, and eight, and you will be just fine. Take some notes over those modules. Try to remember all the fallacies. As long as you can do that, um, you'll be on your way to pretty much passing the course. So yeah, I wish good luck to anyone. Thank you guys. It's just a quick video just to give a quick update. Thank you so much for the support. We've gained like three subscribers since I last checked. Hopefully it'll go to more. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Franco and I'll see you guys on the next one.